welcome to Sweethearts or Rivals. My name is Sharla. I'm Justin. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about Carcassonne. Carcassonne! <laughs> I guess he's really enthusiastic about Carcassonne. I love Carcassonne. So what I'd like to do first is tell you a little bit about the game. We have the 2000 edition. It was published by Rio Grande. It plays two to five players. It takes about 45 minutes to play the base game, and it's good for ages eight and up. Yeah. It was designed by a gentleman named Klaus, and I can't say the rest. <laughs> um, maybe it will focus in on it. It's right there. I don't want to do any injustice to his name. I hope I left it there long enough for you to see Klaus's whole name. And a winner of uh, some awards. Yes, I see that. The Spiel yep. des Jahres 2001. Yep. And another award. I don't know what that one is, right but there. the Spiel des Jahres, big award, lots of prestige with those awards. Mm -hmm. And Carcassonne, winner. Yes. So what sort of game is Carcassonne? Uh, Carcassonne is a tile laying game. Uh, where you're trying to match uh, roads and cities and your farms and cloisters, put your meeples out to claim them and gain points by completing them. And it's very puzzly in that it almost feels like you're building a little uh, puzzle and trying to make everything fit while you're trying to take out your opponents and get more points than them. That's the whole point of the game. Yeah. Yeah. So it comes with about 70 so tiles. Yep. And what we're going to do next, we're going to do a little setup to show you how the game sets up. We're going to play through about 10 minutes of the game and then do final scoring as if we were to have finished the whole game. Yep. So we'll do that and we'll come back and give you our final thoughts on Carcassonne. We'll see you in a minute. Cut! We're going to be having a little game of Carcassonne. So we just had the setup, and you put the start tile in the middle like this. Yep. Justin's going to go over a little bit of the rules. He'll be the first player. So how can you tell this is the start tile? Because the start tile is always the opposite of all the other tiles. All the play tiles are like this. Start tiles like that makes it easy to find to figure it out. So this is your start tile. Put it just like that. Nice middle area of, wet of the uh, playing area. We got a nice uh, Carcassonne bag here. Put all our tiles in. It's always good to have the bag. Bag is awesome. Randomize all the tiles. You can reach in. You can dig around. You can think, oh, that's the perfect tile right there. Oh, yeah. And then we start a tile. So here's my tile. What can I do with this tile? I can do a couple of things. Now, when you're playing Carcassonne, the big rule is it's got to make sense. That does not make sense. You got a field going into a city, a road that just stops. So that doesn't work. But that would work. That would work. That would work. And you know what? I think I'm just going to do that. Once you place a tile, you can take one of your meeple workers and you can place it on that tile. So I could place it here to claim a road. I could place it here to claim the city. Or I could place it here or here to claim that farm. But I'm going to claim that city. So that city is now mine. Hmm. Unless I join up to it and steal it from you. That's right. We'll see. We shall see. Okay, let's see. Randomize these tiles. I love to pull tiles from a bag. I got a stupid road. It's really boring. Roads are not my favorite. I like to build humongous cities. So I'm going to claim the road. There you go. Oh, by the way, I'm playing pink today. There's a surprise. <laughs> All right, my turn. I'm going to take this tile. I got this nice city tile, and I'm going to use this. Oh. To finish off this nice, lovely city of mine. I but I'm... I still get to place a meeple first. I can't place it here because that city's already claimed. But I could place this guy right here for this nice, lovely farmland. And because this city is complete, I pull this follower off, this meeple, and then I score the city. To score a city, you get two points per tile in your city. So one, two, three. That means I get six points. I'm on the board. Mm -hmm. I mean, woohoo. <laughs> I guess I'm not going to get in on that city action. Not that one. I'll make my own city. Yep. 
Oh, I pulled two tiles. Put them back in the bag. Yeah. Let's see. It's this one. Oh, yay. It's a road. <laughs> Is it going to be my road day? Maybe. I'm not going to claim it because I'm... I will join up that right there. Those humongous road points. Um, this That's is interesting. interesting. So every now and then you'll have a tile, and there's not too many of them that just don't work. Because this is city on all the sides, it needs to connect to a city, and there's none. So what you do is you take this, and you put it back in the bag, and you shuffle them up, and you just draw and again. And then you draw it again. You should have left it to the side. There we go. There you're lucky. Excellent. So <clears throat> I'm just going to do... Yikes. Oh, I thought you were trying to try to steal my road. I was thinking of it, but that seemed mean. So I'm gonna make my own road. Yeah, but we can play nicey nice. It's not as entertaining. Oh, we'll we see. We should play cutthroat. We'll see. Cutthroat carcassonne, baby. <laughs> oh, there you go. That was easy. I think the only thing I'm gonna draw today are roads. Did nothing but roads. I'm not gonna sing a road song. Although it would be probably no, it wouldn't be entertaining. There we go. All right, so I'm going to place this right here because it joins this farm to this nice city. And then I'm going to claim that city. I really need to cut off your farm. Yes, you do. Well, you've done a good job so far with that massive road. You've got to be kidding me. I've got another road. It's road time. Well, I'll try to join up with that other road here and cut them off. There we go. Cut this farm off at the corner. And I get some more city tiles. So I'm going to do... Interesting. It's going to make my road hard to finish. But it's cut through a so that's okay. Yep. There we go. Nothing for me to claim there. I've already got the city. What do those little shields mean? Oh, yes. So, if uh, when, you score, when I score this city, that shield will give me some extra points. Yes, you have another road. You are the road baron. You're going to steal that road from me. This us. We don't run out playing with that expansion. Oh, that's right. Aha, I got a road. Ha ha. And I wish I could do that, but I can't. So what am I going to do with this thing? I'm just going to put it right here. Actually, you know what? I'm not. I'm going to put it right here. Mm -hmm. And claim another road. You know what I really should have done when that tile wasn't there and I laid one of these? I should have put a meeple there and then I would have two meeples to your one. Yep. On that road. That's true. Because two thieves are always better than one thief. Yep. On a road. On a road. When you're joining. Oh, look at that. I got a, I got a city tile. There you go. I'll put it right here. That's cute. Fits just right. And I'll put my meep there. All right. Sorry, I don't think I finished my thought. I got distracted by my beautiful tile. That wasn't a road. Oh. There we go. We have ourselves on a time limit today because our other one ran a little long the last time we did a little playthrough. We have five minutes left. Really already? I know. It goes wow. by fast, doesn't it? We've got to pick it up. Okay. So I better get some points. I'll score that city. All right. So... Takes your meep off. Thanks. Did you want to claim anything first of all? Oh, You yes. gotta claim first. I'll use another meeple, a different meeple, to claim that road. Okay. And then she pulls her meeple off and then she gets two points per tile, which means she's at four points. Woohoo! I'm right on your heels. There we go. That ends my road on that side. Yep. And it extends this crazy city that I'm building. Hmm. Awesome, I got another road. There we go. I really wish I would get some more city tiles. Hmm. That can go right there. Oh no. And that oh. will get rid of that. Ooh, and I can claim that. Yeah. There's some cutthroat for ya. Whatever. <laughs> oh look a cloister. Or a monk, as we call them here. A monkery. So, uh, we'll put my meeple on there, and once I finish this section, if I do, I'll get nine points for that monk town. I mean, cloister. Monk town. All right, what am I going to do with this tile? I can do this. That's what I would have done. There we go. Excellent placement. Nice little garden in the middle of my awesome city. 
Why in the world is mine just roads and you've got the huge city? Because cities are awesome. There Ooh, you go. Well now I have a city. Nice. Okay. The best place for me to put that is right there. And you know what I'm going to do with that one? I'll farm it. Not taking either of the cities, goodness. I'll take a city after. I still have three meat slabs. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, you won't finish that piddly little city. You've got bigger problems over there. I only have three minutes left. Yep. So, I think I'm just going to put it here. Finish that city off. That, that's, that side of my city. Finish that off. Okay. Come on. Big money. Oh, I got a cluster. Another one. Hmm. Yikes, so Rilla, I'm putting it here. It finishes off half of my road. It's already joined by three tiles, and I can put a meeple on there. Nice. So when the buzzer goes, are we just going to do final scoring as if the, the game yeah, ended? Yeah, we'll do final scoring, and then it gives an idea of how the final scoring would Excellent. be. Excellent. That's not really what I wanted. Not at all. Not at all. Nope. I don't really want to extend my city too much more. But I'm going to have to. So I might as well just put it right there. Yeah, I would have done that too. And you would have seen that if I had more city tiles. But Oh, well. It's interesting though. You get to see someone's strategy with big city, and you get to see someone's strategy with roads and whatnot. Yep. Okay, so to fill in a little bit more of my Monkville and your cloister. Mm, that's a good tile. That's a good place. I think actually I'm going to do this. Really? Well, okay. yeah, it still helps. Yeah. I can put a meeple on there, and it will help me with final scoring in the end. There you go. Nice. Ah, four-way road tile. Hmm, I did not want that. Where is he going to put that, I wonder? Nowhere good. I know where you should put it, but I'm not going to tell you because we're playing Cutthroat Carcassonne. Hmm. They're going to laugh at that term. <laughs> cutthroat Because Carcassonne. we're just not. You can play more Cutthroat with some of the other expansions, which we're going to give you a little show of in another video. Hmm. We'll just give you a little example of some of those. Well, since we got like a oh minute and a half. Oh my goodness, half, it's like a minute. I might as well just do there. Oh my goodness, I'm so surprised you did that. And then I take this off, and it gives me one point per completed road, so that's two points. You know what I need now? Three-way. A three-way road ender. Yep. And maybe I'll draw one right now, right this tile. Nope. Nope, <laughs> I got a straight one. But this will give me one point in final scoring. There you go. <clears throat> All right. Three-way road ender. And I get to put a meeple down. I'll put a meeple right there. Interesting. So that completes three roads. It completes this road here for two points for me. It completes this road right here for one, two, three, four, for another four. So that gives me six. And it completes Charlotte's nice long road. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So she gets nine points. And she's one point behind me. Woohoo! And we got like 30 seconds left. So it's... I think this is our last tile. And you went first. So yeah, perfect. That equals it out. Excellent. So I guess I'm going to put this one here. And put a meeple on. There we go. You want to just hit the buzzer? We'll, we'll call that a wrap. There you go. There we go. All right, so that was a shortened game of Carcassonne. We still have quite a few tiles left in here. I think it comes with like 72 tiles. Yep, which is a nice start. So when you're when you're done the game, all your tiles are played out, uh, there's still the final scoring. Uh, the final scoring is you look at all the things that are not completed, and you still get points for them. Normally in a city, you would get two points per tile. An in uncomplete, incomplete? Incompleted in city. Incompleted city. Um, you get one point per tile, plus one point per banner. So for this city right here, I'm going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 points. And that gives me 26. Uh, for this little tiny road of mine that I've claimed that is incomplete, I get one point. Charla's uh, road over here that's incomplete, 1, 2, 3, 4. So she's going to get four points for that. Uh, for this city right here that's incomplete, she's going to get one, two, three points. For this city that's incomplete, she's going to get another three points. For this monastery or cloister, 
She's going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So she's going to get eight points. And for this one right here, she's going to get one, two, three, four. She's going to get four points, which gives her a commanding lead. Now, we still have two meeples who are lying down on the board. These are our farmers. I don't think they're lying down. They're hardworking farmers. Yeah. It's just to make sure you, you remember that you don't pick them up. You can't really complete a farm. They stay there to the end of the game. So place them wisely. So we look at this farm of mine, and it starts here, and it goes all the way around here and around here. How many completed cities is it this farm touching? I know. One. One. For three points. Ding, ding, ding. And Charlotte's farm over here goes all the way over here. And how many completed cities does her farm touch? One for three points. Didn't give me that boost I was looking for, but it was a short game. Charlotte wins 38 points to 30 points. Well, that was only 10 minutes of play. Yeah, it was. A good job. Go through a whole lot. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. All right. So we're going to just uh, come back and give you our final thoughts on what we thought of Carcassonne. Carcassonne. <sighs> Are we ready? We're back. All right, so uh, hopefully you found uh, the setup and some playthrough, um, a good insight on what Carcassonne is like. Um, that was just a very quick game. Once you start adding expansions, your gameplay is going to be extended. Yes, it could be hours. Yep. And because we have so many tiles, maybe I'll just take this opportunity to show you our tile bag. Yeah. I had to, um, actually, we have so many expansions and bought so many extra tiles um, from Horda Bits and eBay and everywhere. all over the place. Yep. I had to make my own bag. That's a lot of tiles. That's I a think you bag can hear. Yep. Anyway, sometimes we play through the whole bag. Yep. If it's on a card table and that's it, that's yeah. It's a Carefully. lot. It's fun. All right. So, what do we think about Carcassonne? Just the base game. So, we're gonna look at the components, the strategy. The complexity and the playability. Uh, components. What do you think of the components? I like the components. The tiles are very, very thick cardboard. Yep. Ours is showing a little bit wear and tear, but that's probably just because we've played it like yeah. Yeah. literally. We're actually looking times. about maybe getting a new base game sometime because our base game we played that to like just a like lot. crazy. A lot. And yeah. so there's some wear and tear, but still. Yeah. The pieces are wooden, yep. which I enjoy more than plastic. Would that's always better. be plastic. Yep. Um, and the colors were okay. I bought my meeples from Meeple Source. I probably mentioned that on playthrough mm -hmm. in pink because I had to. Yep. Lots of different colors that you can yeah. get there at meeplesource.com. You can get characters too. Oh, yeah. That's great. Uh, the strategy of Carcassonne. Uh, the strategy, there's actually in the base game um, a fair amount, but you almost don't realize what you're doing, which is kind of neat. Um, you can go for very short-term quick points and be all tactical, or you can try to get yourself uh, a nice large city for lots of points, and then you can get into cutthroat Carcassonne and get a little devious and try to hone in on other people's cities and roads, try to take them out from underneath of them, uh, block off their farms. That's always a good one. Uh, so there is some strategy to it. And yeah, there's can... a little bit. Yeah. Yep. And there is some luck because... Every time you draw a tile, mm -hmm. you just get that one tile and you have to use that one tile. So there is the luck of the draw. But I think it balances really well. Also, too, I just want to mention, sometime we talked about um, drawing a few tiles to have some to choose from. That would up the strategy of the game. Yes. If you wanted a little variant, that's what you could do. Maybe pull three tiles at a time yep. uh, at the beginning. Just play one and then you could kind of have a little bit more choice. Absolutely. If you wanted to increase the base game strategy. Yep. Uh, now, the complexity. Uh, the base game of Carcassonne is not that complex at all. No, I think nope. it's just at the right level of yeah. complexity. It's a great uh, gateway game into board games, mm -hmm. and actually Carcassonne was our gateway game into board games. It was the one that started it all. Yep. Um, so the complexity is um, it's good as in it's not too complex. So I guess that's good if you don't like too, com com right. too much complexity. Yeah. Yep. And then the playability. The playability of Carcassonne, even the base game, is excellent. Yes, I agree. Yep. Yeah, I could I could play this anytime you want to pull yeah. it out. Yeah, yep. for sure. And we played this over and over and over again. Uh, again, to the point where we need new tiles. 
Yes, and then we started getting some expansions, which I believe we'll do a little video to let you know a little bit more about the expansions we have. Yep. As well. Uh, not too heavy in theme, but that's okay. Um, oh, that doesn't matter. No. Nope. The gameplay is so puzzly. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. Uh, it's cute. It's awesome. It's a good blend of all it's three. It's okay for cuteness. Okay for cuteness. Well, once I got the pink meeples, it really helped it out with the there cuteness factor. But <laughs> the tiles are cute too. I enjoy the art on them. They're really cute. Yeah. Now for the playability, one thing that makes the playability of Carcassonne so great is, as Charlotte was talking about, is homebrew variants. Mm. Um, you can make a lot of homebrew rules or house rules uh, to make this kind of your own game and make it more replayable uh, which is great uh, once you start throwing in the expansions you can mix and match and then when you get to meeplesource.com and see all the character meeples that they have you can start throwing some wild variations in oh there. yes like your zombie apocalypse yeah yeah, yeah. we played carcassonne with a zombie apocalypse mm -hmm. which is hilarious so um playability is excellent mm -hmm. um so how would you rate this game uh, overall? Overall, yeah. Overall? Outstanding. Yes, I agree. I think this is an outstanding game because considering we've had this for quite a number of years now and I could still play it at any time. Yep. Outstanding. Great Absolutely. job. Yep. Excellent. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and also, we didn't mention if we finished the game as Sweethearts or Rivals. Oh, right. Sweethearts or Rivals. Hmm. Uh, for Carcassonne... Both. Sweethearts. <laughs> Sometimes rivals. Yeah. Most of the time, sweethearts. For the base game, definitely sweethearts. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I tend to just have a lot of fun and don't get too cutthroat with it because it's just fun. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So thanks for tuning in, and we hope you join us again soon. Bye.